Okay, so let's move on to the next brand, which is Holbein. Now, when it comes to Holbein, there are two things that I would favor, and that's watercolors and pencils. They do both very, very amazing. I haven't come across a brand that can do um, such different art supplies um, in such an amazing way. So uh, let's look at their pencils first. Now, the reason I want to do that is because one of my um, viewers here on YouTube, thank you so much for mentioning this melt. I have ordered it and it came all the way from Japan because I couldn't find it anywhere else and I had to wait like a month. And when it came in this like little envelope from Japan and I had to wait for so long and I got it out, I was like laughing because it's such a tiny little bottle and it cost me quite a bit for the amount that I got. So um, I'm quite excited to try it. So apparently this is specifically designed for uh, by Holbein for Holbein colored pencils and it's a blender so you can turn them essentially into watercolor. Now I don't know how this liquid would work with your brushes so I'll use a non-expensive craft type of a brush okay so look at these pencils I got this set it's the Holbein um, artist grade color pencils these are the pastel tone 50 um, pencils the reason I bought them is because um, they are such a unique um, set which is not available across many other brands so that's why I went for it so let's go with this one chartreuse green let's just see what happens as a pencil they're beautiful they're pigmented they're fun I just want to um, try a couple of colors and I'm going to go for this one which is Okay, so the memory card got full and I didn't see it, so I don't know at which point it cut out, but basically this is what I could achieve with the melts. Um, I just used two drops and what I felt was it sort of would create like a creamy texture, um, like a paste almost, that I could then move the pigment. And you can create really interesting um, little effects with it, but I'm not sure sort of it doesn't really behave like a watercolor it doesn't have that sort of um, blendability or, or transparency or movement um, of the pigment so it just kind of lifts the pigment of the paper and you can sort of blend colors together and essentially I guess what it is made for is more kind of for layering the colors and then sort of blending them better it's probably that but yeah I'm happy I got this um, but I'm not sure if it sort of creates a watercolor um, pencil effect. Okay, so these are fantastic. Then the um, other thing is watercolors by Holbein. Let me just get those. Okay, so when it comes to watercolors, Holbein are great as well. So here we have the HWC. Um, this is a Horizon Blue. I absolutely love this color. I haven't tried their gouache. I hear that the gouache is excellent, um, but the only thing that I also tried from their brand is this one here. So this is the Duo Aqua Oil. So it's a blend between oil paint and watercolor, which is quite interesting, but it takes forever to dry. And um, yeah, it's just, an unusual product I thought I will mention to you but I'm not including it in the best products but just it's quite unique um, and so yeah the um, the packaging is different on on those two tubes I'm not sure why that would be it seems to be the same range but they have lovely pastel colors they use quite a bit of white um, to achieve those obviously but they're great I mean they're beautiful they work really lovely and loads of fun colors so um, that's their watercolor okay next brand let's talk about Liquitex now when it comes to um, acrylics hands down I have two favorite um, brands which is the Liquitex heavy body acrylics and also the heavy body acrylics by Golden um, those are my two favorite acrylics they're just beautiful and yeah I love them um, so that's that. I'm not going to swatch um, acrylics now, but basically it's, uh, you know, the difference is to regular acrylics is that they're uh, packed with 
pigments, beautiful color, and I don't know, it's just, I love the design of them and how they work. The other thing about Liquitex that I really would recommend is their acrylic ink. They're also really fun. They have a nice range of color. So this is a yellow orange Aza. I'm going to swatch that out. They work different to the FW, which I mentioned before. But essentially, you know, somewhere they are similar product, obviously being acrylic ink, there's only so much difference you can get. So these are super vibrant, vibrant. You could, it's hard to achieve a gradient with them because no matter how hard I try, the color always kind of blends in and has that strong kind of vibrancy. So if that's what you're looking for, um, these are great for that and you could just carry on here and it's probably would hardly get that sort of difference of that um, uh, value. Uh, so their metallics are also fun. I've got the iridescent rich bronze and the iridescent bright gold. Um, when I'm using the bright gold with my watercolors, just dabbing it in and mixing it in with areas, I've been often asked on my Instagram pictures whether I've used the Schmincke, you know, that um, gold pigment that you sort of like a powder sprinkle in. So it's a really beautiful way of kind of um, adding a bit of gold into your watercolors. So I do love using this gold and um, it's um, really fun. So I could even dub it into here a little and make it really shiny and pretty. So that's that. Okay, let's move to uh, the next thing, which is going to be drawing inks. I definitely have to um, recommend these because these are by Diamine and the two colors that I have is Inferno Orange and Cocoa cacao shimmer now these are their shimmer inks and i absolutely love their non-shimmer inks as well the oxblood sepia and there is another color which i love 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 um but these are quite unique in terms of their shimmers and they're beautiful i'm just looking for my dip uh, pan here so what you can do I'm just going to do a bit of this here is um, create loads of sort of beautiful drawings but use them with a bit of water to dilute the lines and it just works and looks beautiful so let me show you it goes from very dark to lighter color it doesn't have that sort of staining line to them and of course once it dries the shimmers come through and it just looks really really pretty so highly recommend the their shimmering inks they have loads of different colors in them okay so let's talk about viacro my mouth is starting to get dry from so much talking so viacro is an interesting brand also something i discovered this year and uh, they do interesting products mainly water soluble products so um, the two products that I think are fantastic um, is this watercolor graphite. It comes in this neat little, um, like a lip balm type of a jar. And here is what it is. So it's just a graphite that you can use with your watercolors. It, by the way, blends beautifully. But it is a graphite, so once it dries, keep in mind that uh, it can sort of transfer if you touch it. And then the other thing that they do, I've got three colors here, which I love, is the ochre sepia and brown. Let me just swatch the ochre for you. That's like my top favorite out of them. It's basically called Taylor Shape. and all it is, it's designed to look like those tailor shapes that people use in uh, sewing with sewing machines and all that. So the pigment will transfer to your hands. So be aware of that. And look at this. This is just so beautiful. So you can leave some of the marks if you wanted to, or 
you could dilute it into that. And let's have a little play here. So I'm just going to spot swatch it just at the bottom like so. And then I'm going to dab some of this graphite into here and see what happens. So you can play around with that as well a little bit. It almost starts to look like a dusk yellow color. It's quite interesting. It will granulate and sit beautifully. Um, this um, watercolor graphite with your like regular watercolors as well as these. So you can combine them across the range, but they are beautiful. Okay, lastly, I'm going to mention Jackson's because they have fantastic um, like house brands which are really really good and I will um, share two uh, I'm sure there's more that I haven't tried but two that I have tried and I love coming back and you I'm, I'm using them in fact all the time so let me just get them okay so let me move the swatches because we won't need them anymore goodness I hope I have mentioned everything because if I if I'm editing the video and I'm like, oh my god, how could I not mention this or that? Um, then it will be just endless, this video, I feel like. But for today, this is... Um, I, I, I hope I have covered everything. So, Jackson's. So, their paper is really great. So, I've ordered their paper blocks first time around three to four years ago, I believe. Um, I've got one of these which is even bigger size and that was the original one I ordered. This one I ordered recently. It's exactly the same paper. It's the rough and I love the roughness of it. Not everyone likes it. Um, some people prefer cold, some people prefer even completely sort of smooth paper but I hope you can see the texture here. I love this texture with watercolors. I think that granulation looks really beautiful in them and I just love that um, organic feel of it when I'm painting on these and I have um, used it now quite a bit in the um, online, the newest online course that I have been working on. So yeah, I love it and I also actually ordered um, all the, I think I didn't order their smooth, like a hot press, but I did order their um, a few out of them, like the cold press um, blocks and things to try in different formats, like smaller and bigger ones. So that is still coming in that haul that I mentioned earlier. And then brushes. I have to finish this video with Jackson's brushes because to me, they have such an amazing like range of brushes. I don't know if you realized it, but they have a lot. So there's a number of ranges that I have here. The very first one I discovered was the quill brush and I have two of them. That's how much I love them. So this is the one I've been using to swatch everything. I've got another one here and this is the 10-0. Um, and they are amazing. I also have the number two, like a big one for bigger projects. Um, then they have the icon brushes, which um, have a like a different hair and I'm trying to think is it the same hair as this one or, or not there's a series 702 and this is 777 yes it's a different hair probably and I love this flat brush and they have a whole set on on the icon brushes so they're great uh, the other one that I use constantly are these two brushes they're the raven 30 and 10 zero there isn't much of a difference uh between the 10 zero and a three zero so the 10 zero is obviously a little bit smaller than the three zero um but i use both of them and i love them and then there is um also their own pure sable um brush range so these are two different ones and you know these are animal hair base brushes but the others that I have um, already mentioned they're all synthetic hair so they have animal hair if you wish but predominantly their brushes are synthetic hair and they're amazing quality and then they have also a line called silver line which is so much fun so if you um, go on their website and check it out you'll get all sorts of different brushes in there so this is a comb brush 
it's cut differently as you can see can create these lovely sort of stripy marks um, then there is one which looks like a cat's tongue uh, this one that is I think it's a dagger but it's sort of cut like a, in a, it's a triangular shape and it's cut like a fountain pen Hey everyone, at this point I ran out of memory card and I completely didn't realize it. So this is it and I wanted to wish you amazing year to come. So all of my good wishes to you, all of your dreams to come true and for it to be a much better year than the previous one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!